is Miss Jessica0621. I want to welcome you guys back here to my channel. Today's video is going to be basically a redo of a previous video that I had here on my channel, which was the Michael Kors Hayes unboxing part two. And before we get further into that explanation in the new video, I do want to remind you guys to please like, subscribe, and definitely do not forget to hit that bell button so each time I do a new video here on my channel, you guys will be the first ones to know. So as I was saying in the beginning, I decided to redo the video on the Michael Kors Hayes unboxing that I had here on my channel. I just felt like the quality of the video was not very good. You guys wasn't able to see the full, um, you know, color and, you know, um, the style of the bag because of the glare that I had that day from the sun. You know, I really can't do too much about that, but I decided that I just did not give you guys a very good quality video of the handbag so i decided just to take that video down and do a redo of it so i tried to save some clips of the actual unboxing but i guess they are, were deleted by mistake so i definitely apologize for that because i wanted you to at least see the unwrapping of the bag but they were um deleted by mistake so i'm just going to go over the bag a little bit more into details with you guys and just kind of give you a backstory of it and i definitely want to apologize to my viewers and, and um subscribers that did come in and like the video i just didn't want you guys to feel like i just threw something together for you so I wanted to take the time to redo it show you the quality of the bag explain it a little bit more to you so where you guys could really see why I'm so obsessed with this bag and so if you ever came across another duffel of my cores you'd understand you know the quality and just how much I really love the style of it so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video this is the Michael Kors Hayes Small Duffel in the color Vanilla and Luggage. Now, in my previous videos here in my channel, I did have the Brown and Luggage um, bag. And I just wanted to go back and get this one because I felt like it was just so important to have both colors. So, we're on days where I wanted to just do something uh, kind of fresh and casual, I could carry this one. And then on days where I wanted to be a little bit more like boss lady, I could have the brown and luggage. So uh, as I mentioned in my other video where I did the original unboxing, me and my sister both love Michael Kors to death. Um, I think that she kind of have ran her course with Michael Kors. So we both agreed that we needed to add in some new designers to our collection. And we decided, you know, just to look around. And I did and I saw Dooney and Bergen Coach, which I still love. And and it was one particular bag from Dooney and Berg uh, and Coach that I liked. But I just felt like I just couldn't escape this bag, you know, that I really wanted it. And so I mentioned it to my sister and I showed it her to her. And she was like, well, you know, with spring assignment coming up, you do need a really nice white kind of bag, you know, something fresh. So I agreed with her on that. And I showed her the Michael Horace bag. And she was like, yes, that's a cute one. So... Um, she went ahead and bought this bag for me and then the seller that I bought it from I saw them before but I just never really saw anything of theirs that really caught my eyes so I decided just to go and look and lo and behold they had this bag and they had it at an affordable price and I messaged the seller and asked them would they save it for me and they were willing to save one for me and I definitely appreciate that from the seller and from my sister so I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and let's get into this fabulous bag here. as i said this is the michael kors small haze duffel with the mk signature print in the um luggage leather you have the gold tone hardware throughout the back you have the michael kors lettering logo right here on the front with the circled mk medallion charm right here now with this charm it does slide off so you could take this charm off or add on additional charms as well now on the back there is no zip compartments or anything like that to put like loose money or your phone whatever and also there is no side pockets nor is there any feet on the bottom. So you'll have to be very cautious of where you may sit this bag. I know I am. So where the bottom doesn't get dirty or you just don't, you know, stick it in something. Um, 
and it leaves you know a mark on there now when i got this bag the seller did not put enough stuffing in it and then the box was like severely damaged through the whole shipping process so there is a quite a few dents like right here on the bottom i can rub my hand on them and and then i'll fill them i'm not sure if you guys can really tell but i put a whole bunch of air cushions and um paper in here to help and it's kind of gotten the ones in the front out a little bit but i think i'll have to rearrange them a little bit now this bag does come with an adjustable detachable strap on here as well now i also mentioned in my previous videos that i did not like this strap because i just feel like it just did not fit the small haze i don't know why they put such a wide strap on this bag for it to be so small because on the large haze it's the regular um thin adjustable detachable strap so i just kind of felt like that was kind of a little backwards but i think with the white one with the vanilla and luggage handbag that this strap kind of works a little bit on the brown one i don't care for it i usually do not carry the brown um and luggage one with the strap not unless i'm out with my kids so i don't have any choice because i want to keep my hands free you know to be able to keep up with my kids so that's the only time i wear it. but other than that i don't uh wear the strap now i did have an extra strap from one of my previous bags and it's almost close to this um luggage color so when i put it on there i really liked it and i was like okay i want a brown replacement strap for this bag and come to find out i called michael kors customer service they gave me the phone number to the um company that they used to do repairs with and they told me to call and see if they could sell me a uh, additional strap i called and unfortunately they do not sell any of their replacement pieces so if you just want like a replacement strap or like a logo charm anything like that they will not sell it to you you have to like really have some damage to your bag to be able to get a replacement from them so it's not like they won't do it it's just don't think that you can call them and be like hey i want a new strap and they be like okay that's not gonna happen so I found a seller on eBay that was willing to sell me an additional strap, but they wanted $50 for it, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to go through with that or not, but the more I look at the brown one, I really would prefer a brown strap on it, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just buy it and you know, so I can be done with it, put it at ease, so that's what I'm going to do with that, but I may leave this strap on here, I'm not really sure this bag here all you have to do when you want to adjust it is just simply just adjust a little uh belt here or the little buckle and right here and that's how you can make it longer now i'm about like maybe 4 11 5 feet this right here is how it looks on me it's like right here on my lower hip or leg and so when I wear these bags, I wear them as a crossbody. I'm just used to wearing crossbodies because I just don't like having it in a way that somebody can snatch it from me. So that's just my uh, view of carrying it. So this is how it looks, you know, from my front profile from the side here and from the back. So this bag is really cute. I love this bag. It is so gorgeous. I can't wait until like the summer or spring to start carrying it. And then you can also carry it as a, um, sh you know, shoulder bag. You know, you can carry it as a satchel with the strap or without it. So I don't know. It's just probably just your guys' preference of it. But this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and open it so where you can guys can see the inside. And you can see all of the stuffing that I literally had to put so this is the inside of the bag now with these small haze they do not come with any type of polyester lining and the inside of them like the large or any other of michael kors bags do so if you're kind of particular about making sure that the inside of your bags do not get damaged you may want to get your purse liner or organizer so where it does not um you know if you have lotion or anything like that in your purse where it doesn't um stain the leather but this is just a nude or a khaki um soft online leather now with this bag you only get 
excuse me you only get one little slip pocket right there it has the michael kors uh, name tag in it and then when you flip it over to this side here it has the michael kors name plating uh, in metal right there so that would be from the front so this is the inside of it it is pretty deep then also right there you have the care card and a little bit of tissue from all the stuff that i just stuck in there so this is still pretty roomy uh, of the height and everything like that in the description box down below to where you guys can know how big this is but before i had ordered this uh bag i did see a youtuber she was on here comparing the height to the speedy 25 and this is pretty much maybe like two or three inches shorter than the uh speedy the louis vuitton speedy uh 25 so it still has the same amount of space and um storage in the inside here is maybe it's a speedy but it's just a couple of inches uh shorter so this bag is pretty roomy you know just because it may look small doesn't mean that it will not hold a lot it's just uh you know all of the 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 special features are pretty much in the inside to kind of hold everything and uh i will do another additional video on comparison uh, between this and maybe um my sierra so where you guys can be able to see as far as storage and height and everything of it but this bag is absolutely gorgeous i love it you guys will love it and i really apologize for taking down the previous video and um having you guys to come back and rewatch another one but i wanted to give you guys the best video that i could i definitely appreciate your comments your likes you know your you know being able to subscribe to my channel i definitely appreciate it so that's what made me want to redo it i just didn't want to give you you know crappy uh work so i definitely appreciate you guys for watching this video i hope you love this bag as much as i do so please do not forget to like subscribe and please do not forget to hit that bell button so each time i do a new video here on my channel you guys be the first ones to know bye